trifecta of Pilates. If you're new here, my name is Beth. We're going to do a class today all about posture, particularly for those of us who tend to slouch. So we're going to work to open our chest and engage the upper back. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. Lay down on your back on your mat, arms by your side, knees can be bent here. And just allow yourself to take some breath before we begin. And next time you exhale, you're going to push your chin in towards your chest and return. And as you continue breathing out, push the chin into the chest and return. What we're trying to do is get length in the back of the neck, stretch that area out. The back of the neck gets a little bit tight when we slouch. So I realize you're going to give yourself a double chin. Embrace the double chin. We want it in this exercise. Just one last time. Then keep the head where it is. Reach your arms up to the ceiling. And I want you to exhale, pull the shoulders and then the elbows down into the mat. Keep breathing and keep pushing the upper arms and elbows down into the mat without the back engaging. Sometimes that's a little bit trickier than it sounds. Flip the palms to face the thighs and push the arms along down into the mat. So feel a lot of work in the upper shoulders and along the entire arms. We're going to maintain that as we pelvic curl, breathing out, curling pelvis and spine up and rolling right back down again. Keep pressing with the back of the upper arms, keeping the arms long. The back of the neck stays long from that very first movement that we did here. Allowing the spine to find some movement as we find strength in the arms. Keep breathing, keep moving. Nice thing about the pelvic curl exercise is when we curl up, we have the opportunity to open up the hips a little bit. This is an area that tends to be a little bit tight on some of us. So use the exercise to open up those hips. Just one last time. And keeping the spinal column and pelvis down on your mat. Arms reach to the ceiling, make a fist. Inhale, exhale, curl up, push the arms down and go into your 100. Breathing in, breathing out. Now you can take your legs in a different position, that's totally fine. But I want you to focus today not only on the abs, of course, but the back of the arms vigorously pumping up and down. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Strong arm pumps. Keep curling to the thighs as you pump the back of the arms. Just take two more deep breaths here. And one last breath here. Lowering down, reach the fingers long to the ceiling, and let the arms open across from the shoulders on the mat. As you're breathing here, really feel still, collarbones, shoulders nice and wide, and equal weight along the upper back. Breathe out, lift the legs up off the mat, and squeeze the legs together. Inhale, rotate pelvis to one side, maintaining equal weight along the upper spine, and then come right back to center. So shoulders staying down on the mat as you rotate from one side to the other, equally weighted. So we can use this exercise not only to keep the abs engaged, hopefully, but to really open the shoulders and chest if you tend to be a little bit tight in this area. Do one more time each side, soft with the throat. Next time the pelvis comes in center, keep it there. Let your feet just go right back down onto the floor. Reach the arms behind your head, keeping them low to the floor, elbows straight, and then open your arms back to the T position. Now, as you continue here, if your arms and shoulders are a little bit tighter, you may just take your arms to a Y and then reach your arms back to a T. So just work in a range of motion where you can truly keep your arms straight and your spine still. So this is an area that's a little bit tight on me. 
I know this so easily that I'll press my ribs and back up to the ceiling. Keep that area quiet as you try to find your range of motion here. One last time, arms reaching back behind you. Keep them there. Arms reach to the ceiling and roll yourself all the way up, sitting nice and tall on your mat. Squeezing the legs together, hands near the pelvis, and press down into the pads of the fingers here so you feel your spine longer. Then maintain that as your arms reach forward. Going back into a spine rotation exercise, this time with an arm movement. Inhale, lift the arm up and start lifting your spine more as it rotates. Arm circles back behind you, bring it back through center. We'll repeat same side. Inhale, lift and lift as you rotate, coming back center. This should feel really good on the spine, in the shoulder. The neck is at ease here. One last time, inhale to exhale. Switch sides, opposite arm lifts so you find more length as you rotate, circle back around. Breathing in, breathing out. Two more times. And one last time. Stay center, arms stay reaching forward. Just open your legs a little bit wider than your mat. Remember, you can always bend your knees if you're getting a little hippie here. Do classic spine stretch to begin with. So breathe out, nod your head forward, round your spine, and pull the abs back to open that lower spine. Roll yourself right back up, inhale. And we'll repeat, breathe out. Open that lower back, right back up tall again. So as we're doing this, we're preparing the lower back to be nice and open and hopefully not work for the next exercise. Just one last time. Allow yourself to stay in a neutral spine position. Everyone, you may wanna bend your knees for this one. Inhale here. Exhale, grow and lengthen taller. And next time you inhale, pivot forward. And you should start to feel upper back working. Come right back up to neutral over the pelvis. Inhale, pivot forward, the upper back works. Come back to neutral. Keeping the abs gently drawn in against the spine. So this is not a lower back exercise. We're really trying to feel it between the shoulder blades as you pivot forward. And coming up. Now stay in that forward position, tuck your chin just slightly so the back of your neck becomes longer and you're going to inhale, reach one arm up towards the ceiling, reach the arm forward, opposite arm up to the ceiling and forward. And I like my palms facing in towards one another as the arm reaches to the ceiling and comes forward. This should be feeling, whoa, upper back, a lot of work there. Continue single arm or both arms go up and forward. Use your breath in, breath out. Two more times. And one last time. Keep the arms lifted if you can. Make a fist with the hands and pump the arms to the ceiling. Pump it out. Two, three, just five, two and one. Then sit up tall, arms forward, and let's come side lying on the mat. So before you rest all the way down, reach and stretch your bottom arm longer so we're opening up long in the armpit, imagine. Let your head rest onto your hand and take some breath here. Feel your shoulders stacked, your ribs stacked, waist and pelvis, and the crown of the head is reaching past the fingers, past the fingers. Lift the top leg up and keep reaching the pelvis long. So we're thinking more today about keeping and maintaining alignment in our torso as you start circling the leg. Don't care how big the circle is, don't care how fast it is. I want the rest of the body to stay really still and you to feel really long in the center body here. Just breathing in and breathing out. That top shoulder is going to want to roll in. Keep it opening so you have to keep your hand pretty close to your body. Reverse the direction of the circle. Still breathing in and out. 
really nice size circle here, working the outer thigh, but still staying stable. One last time. Pause, roll the thigh out, flex the foot, little leg lift, not as high as we can go, squeeze down to the heel. Little leg lift, squeeze down to the heel. Breathing in and out. Keep thinking long with your pelvis, long with the head, shoulders stacked. One last time like this. Stretch through the foot, little pulses, little beating motion. Down and down and down, breathing in and out. Keep reaching along with the pelvis. The top leg's gonna wanna creep up a little bit into the waistline, keep the thigh reaching forward and long. Last time. Good, let the legs bend in and switch sides. So start again with that long, long reach of that lower arm, feeling armpit open and stretch here. Legs to the front bottom corner of your mat. Keep breathing here as you lift the top leg. We're feeling really stacked and long in the pelvis, in the crown of the head, and start circling the thigh. Continue breathing here. So this thigh is circling. Rest of the body staying quiet. Two more times here. And then reverse the direction, breathing in and breathing out. Pause with the leg this next time. Roll the thigh out, little flex, small lift and lower. We can all lift our leg up a little higher, but focusing on a smaller lift today so you can keep the pelvis really reaching forward towards the feet, focusing more on really staying stable, just isolating that leg movement, a little bit more than if we were to do a huge kick up to the ceiling. One last time, stretch through the foot, little pulses, in and in and in, keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth and really try to keep that heel when it beats down on top of the bottom leg so the leg doesn't start creeping up into the pelvis. Take another breath here. Release and roll right onto your stomach. Before we position, we're gonna just open up the hips a little bit. So lift one leg up, imagine I'm pulling your ankle, pull the leg back behind you, lower it down. Same thing, second side. Lift the leg up, pull it back behind you, lower down. Position your head so your nose is facing down to the mat so that we're not distorting the curve of our cervical spine here to neck. Reach your arms back behind you, palms face in towards your thighs. Lift the back of the arms up, lower down. So right now we're just going into arm movement. We'll get into spine movement in a little bit, but by holding your upper spine off the mat and your head off the mat, we are working the back just a little bit. We're just not moving it. Now keep the arms up and press the arms in and return. Press in and return. Keep the arms straight as the shoulders and arms press in. Two more times. Keep the arms squeezing and lift the arms up. Spine lifts up now. Lower spine, lower arms part way. Inhale, lift. Exhale down. Really try to feel the lift from the shoulders, from that upper spine between the shoulder blades. Not so much in the neck. Not so much in the low back. One more time here. Pause. Flip the palms to face down. Thumbs out to the sides of the room. Open the arms across from the shoulders. Feel the top of the head reach forward so your neck is happy. Now pull your arms back behind you and just open. Keep the arms straight and keep them lifted. Try not to let them sag down to the floor. Remember, we really want to work the upper back, back of the shoulders as well here. Now next time the arms move back, can we add that spine extension again? Here we go, inhale. Exhale, open and reach. Inhale, pull back. Exhale, open and reach. Legs staying down on the mat. Make this about your upper back. One more time. 
Very nice. Take the hands underneath the shoulders. Come up onto your hands, onto your knees on your mat. Spread wide with your fingers and feel your shoulders positioned right over your hands. Natural curves of your spine. Press evenly into your shins. Top of the head reaches forward here. Taking some breath and next time you exhale, reach one arm forward and up next to the head. Make a fist and we're going to do that little pulsing motion we did seated. Press up and up and up. Getting back of the upper arm to work again. So we'll also work on the flexibility for the shoulder. Three, two, one. Bend the elbow, pull it back behind you. So think elbow poking up to the ceiling. Squeeze the elbow in by your side. Breathe out, extend the arm and bend. Straighten the arm to bend. Now you can do this exercise with the weight. But if you really keep the squeeze and the lift of the elbow, you will still feel work in the tricep. Two more times. And one last time. Replace the hand. The back of the arm should feel nice and engaged. Extend the opposite arm up next to the ear. Make that fist again. Find that pumping motion up, up, power up. Keep breathing in and out. Back of the shoulder really strong, trying to lengthen the armpit, imagine. Last one, bend the elbow, pull your elbow back and up to the ceiling. Roll your shoulder back and straighten the arm and bend. Push to straight, resist to bend. Make this work even if you don't have a weight. Keep breathing out and in. For two to one. Very nice. Let that arm release and have a seat on your mat once again. Knees are bent. Squeeze the legs together. Grab behind the thighs. Taking a breath for yourself here. You're going to try to keep natural curves of your spine lifting and wide with the shoulders and chest. Pivot back. Pivot back. Keep breathing. Abs. If you're not feeling abs engage, if you need a little bit more work here, hover your hands above the knees. And then your abs say, I'm working. Hopefully they're saying that, right? Not work in that lower back, nor in the hips. Pull your shoulder blades together still. Keep breathing. Palms facing towards one another. And again, we're going to reach one arm next to the ear. Hello abs even more. Reach the arm forward. Inhale, opposite arm and forward. Continue breathing. Keep working the abs. So we're just working them in a much different way than normal, editing out all the curling position we do and maintaining neutral spine. Now stay here. We're going to do four more and we're going to either do single arm or both arms go up. So four. Keep breathing. Three. Abs work a lot. Shaking is good. I'm shaking a little bit. Hopefully you are too. One last time. We're almost there. Do a little curl back with the pelvis. Return to neutral. A little curl back. Return to neutral. I want you to really feel when the pelvis curls back, this is staying wide. You can, of course, grab behind your thighs for a little extra support. You do what you need to do to get through. Three more times for three. Pull those abs into curl. Keep the abs pulling in and curling and roll all the way back down on your mat. Pull your feet in a little bit closer to you. Arms by your side, shoulders and head go down. This is right where we got started. Take some breath here. Feel free to let the eyes close. Imagine this is your seated and standing posture with your spine. So we're just going to practice on our mats right now on our backs. Feel the natural curves of your spine, where are the heavy points, where are the light points. Notice if your shoulders want to roll forward and your chest caves in. For right now, press into the back of the upper arms a little bit more, the area that we've been working on throughout the class. Keep breathing in and out. And imagine that this is feeling more natural, more supported. So if you do have tightness somewhere in the body, you're not fighting it so much. Letting the class do some of the work for you. 
And next time you breathe out, roll yourself up, have a seat sitting cross-legged. We're gonna end with just postural awareness in a seated position. Since we sit so much throughout the day, whether it's on the computer, driving, eating, just sit right up on top of your sits bones. Feel where your spinal column is, the shape of it. Then allow your eyes to close. And as you continue breathing here, with the awareness of your posture, really trying to not feel like you're holding or bracing to stay in proper alignment, that you can get up and move freely in this position. So no muscles are being overstretched or overworked. Another breath here. Allow the eyes to open, welcoming your day once again. And I hope you continue to sit tall for your day, stand tall for your day, and just find ease with your posture. As always, have a beautiful day and join me on the mat soon.